like to know what you're going to do when you retire from boxing. When I retire from boxing, I really don't know. I want to say something right here. You all might, this might make you all think. Get ready to meet God. Owning real estate, going in business, teaching boxers, that won't get me to heaven. How many here believe there's a supreme being, believe there's a God? How many believe there's some power that made the sun, the moon, the stars? How many believe that this stuff didn't just come out here, somebody wiser than us made it? How many believe there's a God? How many believe there's not a God? All right. If I told you, you who don't believe in God, if I told you that this glass sprang into existence, this glass made itself, no man made this glass, would you believe it? If I turn on this television station, it's popped into existence. It just, no man made it. You say, Muhammad Ali's crazy. All right. If that glass couldn't make itself, if this building didn't make itself, then how did the moon get out there? How did the stars and Jupiter, and Neptune and Mars and the sun, how did nature, how, how did all this come here if didn't know why is something planning to make it? So what I'm saying is, I believe that we're going to be judged. God is watching me. God is God. don't praise me because I beat Joe Frazier. God don't give nothing about Joe Frazier. He wants to know how do we treat each other? How do we help each other? So, I'm going to dedicate my life to using my name and popularity, helping charities, helping people, uniting people, bring people bumming each other because of religious beliefs. We need somebody in the world to help make peace. So when I die, if there's a heaven, I want to see it. We all gonna die soon. This is not the life now. This is a test to see where will we spend our life. Your soul and your spirit never die. That's gonna live forever. So your body is just housing your soul and spirit. So God is testing us on how we treat each other, how we live to see where our real home be in heaven. So this physical stuff don't last for so long. There have been many kings and queens of England. They're all dead. After this one is gone, another one will come. So we don't stay here. We're just trustees. We don't own nothing. The most important thing about life is what's going to happen when you die. Are you going to go to heaven or hell? And that's eternity. How long is eternity? I'll give you an idea how long eternity is. Take the Sahara Desert, and I told you to wait a thousand years. And every thousand years, I want you to pick up a grain of sand until the desert is empty. So it just scares me to think that I'm going to die one day and go to hell. I'm on an airplane that might blow up. I'm always traveling. The police, I might kill people. I might rob people. The authorities might not catch me. The FBI, Scotland Yard might not catch me. But when I die, somebody's watching me and keeping count, and I can't get away. So what am I going to do when I'm through fighting? Get myself ready to meet God and go to the best place. Does that make sense? Thank you.